Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. Dear everyone, inside this bag is one old clown who has been waiting for a long time to be born. Today, everything is ready. He just needs one thing. He's going to need his heart until he gets a real heart of his own. Morgan's journey was an attempt to look at some of the potentially more difficult aspects of being a child. Uh, some of it was born uh, from the experience of being a young parent myself. That's my best present. It, no, no, no. That's my camera. It, hey! Did I say you could touch it? my camera. Then don't touch it. <laughs> I don't know why I'm yelling. I think it's because I think it's because that's my best present. And I don't want it getting broken. I think it's a more interesting discovery for the audience to observe that as opposed to you have to learn to share because often those lessons that are imposed don't really ring true in our heart of hearts. We know that we're supposed to share but we don't want to. And in terms of that lesson it was oh so I don't need presents. Herkimer, and Herkimer wants me to play the guitar. I don't want to play the guitar because it's, it's, it's no good. It's just a present. It's people that are good. Presents aren't good. We're all conflicted. And, and in the play, I think that's pretty clear that, oh, I get it, I'm supposed to love people and not presents. And the kids all, so I say, so forget about presents? They go, yeah. Some are really honest and go, no, I'm not forgetting about presents. It's my birthday tomorrow and I want, I'm, I'm, I'm getting presents. Come here, I'm going to put you on my shoulder. You're coming with me on my journey to get more. Yeah, you are. Don't pull away. Hey, you're my best friend. Yes. What you... One of the things I discovered early on is that the play was working uh, as well for adults as it was for children. In fact, early in my uh, performing of it, I uh, was involved with uh, some, some people who were closely associated with some prisons in Ontario. The men in prisons had a specific relationship with anger so that when, when it happened that I tore the puppet's heart off, they were in shock because they could identify. And it's a very innocent uh, sequence. And in kindergarten class, they relate to it because accidents, they've dropped a glass, they've spilt the milk. The kids relate to it. Same thing, different perspective, you know. Because there's nothing up my sleeve. I mean, everybody sees me put a sock on my hand and everyone goes, right, puppet. But for some reason, we play this game and we allow ourselves to experience the reality. His heart. What did he do with his heart? He replaced his with yours. He gave it to me. I just got back from Hong Kong, which is like the mecca of consumer society. And uh, the parents there who spoke to me after the show were really grateful for the very simple message. More, more, more is a fundamental error. So let's find out how we can curb our desire for more. And I think that's the only way that we're going to start sharing globally, if we really get it.